Welcome back to Zero Diabetes Zone. Today we're diving into a critical but often overlooked topic the connection between arsenic exposure and diabetes. Arsenic is a naturally occurring element, but did you know that long-term exposure to it can significantly impact your health, especially for those at risk of or living with diabetes? Let's break it down. Arsenic is a toxic element found in the environment, often in groundwater, soil, and air. It's used in industrial processes, but it can also seep into our food and water supply. Arsenic exposure can be through contaminated drinking water, certain foods like rice, and even tobacco smoke. When arsenic enters the body, it can cause damage to multiple systems, including the heart, kidneys, and nervous system, but recent studies have shown a more alarming connection arsenic may play a role in increasing the risk of developing type 2 diabetes and worsening blood sugar control. Research has found that chronic arsenic exposure may disrupt insulin production and insulin sensitivity leading to higher blood sugar levels. A study by the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences even linked arsenic in drinking water to higher rates of type 2 diabetes especially in regions with contaminated water sources. But how exactly does this happen? Arsenic affects the pancreas, the organ responsible for producing insulin. It can damage the cells that produce insulin, leading to insulin resistance. This means your body can't use insulin efficiently, causing blood sugar levels to rise. Over time, this insulin resistance can develop into type 2 diabetes. Many people are exposed to arsenic without even realizing it. It's found in certain food items like rice, seafood, and in regions with contaminated groundwater. Those living in areas with industrial pollution or using well water are especially vulnerable. This makes it essential for people, particularly those at risk of diabetes, to be mindful of their arsenic exposure. Now, you might be wondering how can you protect yourself? Here are a few tips. Number one. Use a water filter, make sure to use one that's designed to remove arsenic, especially if you're relying on well water. Number two, diversify your diet. Eating a varied diet can reduce your exposure to arsenic in certain foods. Number three, choose rice wisely. Some types of rice contain less arsenic than others. Rinse your rice thoroughly before cooking to reduce arsenic content. Final thoughts, understanding the hidden risks of arsenic exposure is crucial, especially if you or a loved one has diabetes or is at risk of developing it. By staying informed and taking preventive steps, you can protect yourself from this silent danger. Don't forget to subscribe to Zero Diabetes Zone for more health tips and updates on how to manage your diabetes effectively. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Zero Diabetes Zone where we help you take control of your health.